penultimate race here. It's the Summer Handicap. Sorry about that, folks. Cyclone Jethro, Darren Thompson, Greatwood, Pontypool Racing, Bloodstone, Michael Scala, Falco Langley, Ben Fotheringham, El Paso Impact, Vinnie Gerard, Aristotle, Ryan Tamasebi, Tyrol Fabulous, Dan Hughes, Soldier Gal, Satya, Mahab Funshine, Derek Hinton, People's Poet, Steve Rand, Monique Lulla, Martin Leadham, Red Session, Ben Fotheringham, Saltoro, Michael Scala, Waiterborn Cape, Danny, Princess Maduke, Padre Hogan, Raphael Ashore, Alex Cherry, Temple of the King, Martin Leadham, Nogal Quest, Craig Beckwith, and Eileen Donan for Alex Cherry. And they're off and running. Struggling to get through my race cards today. It's been a long afternoon, folks. Um, Soldier Gal out into an early lead, followed by the stable mate there, or certainly in the same colours, Princess Maduke, as they come down this real steep hill. Quite an undulating track here, and then starting to swing left-handed as well. It'll be interesting to see how some of these horses handle a track with this many und undulations. But it's Soldier Gal that's gone out into that early lead. Greatwood, three length behind in second, and leading a chase and pack that has Tyrol Fabulous, Princess Maduke, Cyclone Jethro, Fal Falco Langley there, looking towards the rear of the field, the back marker is currently Aristotle, and that's one of mine, and I can tell you what chance that's got of winning today, no chance, Soldier Gal still has the lead, good few lengths in front of People's Poet, Saltoro's there, uh, in the red with the blue uh, sleeves and the yellow hat, for Michael Scala, that one's now moved into third place, just ahead of Princess Maduke, Tyrol Fabulous, Travelling strongly up on the outside, we've got Eileen Dolan and Raphael Ashore both there in Alex Cherry's all familiar silks by now. And towards the rear of the field we've still got Aristotle, Monique Lulia, uh, that's Martin Leadham's horse and current back marker is Noble Quest, Red Session being ridden hard on the wide outside, uh, the grey horse in the pilks, uh, pink silks. And back towards the front of the field, it's still Soldier Gal in the lead. Princess Maduke and Cyclone Jethro have had enough of giving that one a good few lengths uh, uh, lead and an easy lead and started to close the gap. But no sooner do I say that than Soldier Gal just pushed along for a few strides to extend the advantage again and really starting to stretch some of these out as you look towards the middle of the pack and you could see Raphael Ashore getting to work there and a few in behind Temple of the King being ridden along Aristotle hard at work as well El Paso impact for Vinnie Gerrard's almost out in the trees on the far side it's gone that wide as has Mahab Sunshine uh, Red Session sorry Mahab Sunshine and Greatwood's one that's faded out tamely and won't be featuring at the finish here back at the front as we hit the one and a half furlong marker it's Soldier Gal now being tackled and passed for the first time in the race by Tyrol Fabulous. Eileen Dunan, Cyclone Jethro trying to get going. Noble Quest is one that's trying to stay on really well from the rear of the field as well. But into the final half of Furlong, and as the winning post comes, it's Tyrol Fabulous needs the line. Eileen Dunan's coming on the near side. Tight. 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 Greatwood's just passed the post now. Don't know what was amiss with that horse, but. Uh, it's trailed in last by quite a long time as we look at this camera angle. <laughs> Deceiving camera angle. Look as they were coming towards the line there on the replay. The Tyrol Fabulous had that. Eileen, and it has, it has. It's won by a short head. I didn't want to call that in case it was a dead heat. Tyrol Fabulous has got up. Good winner for Dan Hughes. Eileen Dunan, unlucky to just be touched off there in second for Alex Cherry. I can see Steve Rand's horse, People, People's Poet, came fifth. Just having a look. Go okay, we'll see. If we can get confirmation of third and fourth, my fault for rabbiting on. Yeah, third was Noble Quest, Craig Beck with fourth, Soldier Gal, the long-time leader for Satyam. But a good win there for Dan Hughes.